Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Far and by Trey Songs. And I'm kind of working off the, the music video actually for, for this lesson. And we start off with this cool little bass line actually without the capo. And then later on, when we get to our main verse course, we put our capo on first fret. And it starts off with this cool bass line where you can play open A, second fret on the D, third fret on the D, back to second fret on the D, open A, second on the D, third fret on the D, second fret on the D. Open A, and then second fret on the D, and then third fret on the, on the G, D string, and then first fret on the G string, and then second fret on the G, and then we can kind of replay that, and then do first finger on the B string, first fret, first slide to fifth fret, and then we end on sixth fret on the B, and then play an open A. You know, that's a little crazy if you wanted to follow just those, that melody line. by starting on an A minor chord. I normally do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now around A minors in general, it can be kind of cool with the first finger and kind of an A suspended second, or you could add in the pinky on the B third for an A suspended and kind of say some things around that chord. Or you could lift off the third finger and kind of make it an A minor seven, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor seven. Just kind of just a couple of on that chord. And then from there we go to an E minor chord. And normally we do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. It sounds really sad. Um, now you can also add in the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Make that an E minor seven if you kind of dig on that sound. And then for the F note, we can back that up with an F major chord. We'll talk about an easy way to play that, but normally you do this first fret bar. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the A third, pinky on the D third. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an F major in our chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, if you're just starting out, you may want to use an F major seven, where you do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the D third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven and it sounds really, really groovy happy. And then from the F, we'd be going to an E major chord. We do this first finger on the G first fret, second finger on the A second fret, and third finger on the D second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an E major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And on that particular E, you may want to lift off the third finger and make that an E seven chord. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string third fret. And kind of work that as in pentatonic E seven. And through that intro, if you wanted to back that up with some rhythm, you could do kind of the A minor for four, E minor for four. F for four, E major, A minor, so I'm just kind of doing a four down count, kind of adding a little bit of beating to that, E major, kind of a big A minor hit, ba da da da, big A, kind of an idea, or you could use a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up, so we took the A minor, just tried that a lot, you have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, get that strum pattern to work on actually one time on each chord A minor, E minor, F, E major. I think that's playing against the tune a little bit, but definitely something to practice. So because of the speed, um, what you may want to do is just a down down up on each chord. Kind of A minor, down, E minor, down, F, down, E major, A minor. Now something else you may want to add to the, the song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you have a bass for the chord. So on the A minor you have the A for the bass, on the E minor you have low E for the bass, on the F bar you have low E for the bass, and on the F major so you have D for the bass, and on the E major you have low E string for the bass. So we tried that with basses, we have kind of the A minor, Another strum pattern that I would lean to, especially through through the next part, actually, is a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, 
And right now we're dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. And one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down. section that kind of happens through the video well, where you got this cool little chord lean in where you can kind of play a lot of double notes actually play open A twice second on the D second on the G second on the first fret or on the B string first fret open B two on the G string open G and then back to two on the G string so we want to kind of follow that line kind of that oh oh two 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 two, two one one oh oh two two oh oh two, two, two around the A minor chord. A, A, E, E, A, A, C, C, B, B, A, A, G, G, A. And then we end up with repeating that idea. And then we end up almost doing exactly the same lick. Oh, oh, two, 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 one, one, oh, oh, two, two, oh, oh. But then that last two, you put on the D string instead for E note. And then we kind of pick it up back on, on another lick where we play first fret on the B twice. Open B, second on the G, open G, and then second on the G again, but then first fret on the G, and then back to second fret on the G. So we're going to kind of follow that line, you get kind of the A minor idea. And then we got that same look again. Oh, oh, two, 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 one, one, oh, oh, two, two, oh, two. And then we got it with the E variation. Fret on the B. And then one, two. So that could be a really, really cool line to follow. And if you're going to back that with chords, you start on the A minor. first fret, second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the B string, third fret, 
And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord and sounds really, really sad. Um, now around D minors in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, maybe add a D suspended second, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord if you want to say some things around that chord. And then from the D minor, we go back to our A minor, and we kind of half that with the E major, and then back to an A minor, and then you, can, and you may want to do a hit on the last A minor, and then pick it up on the E, and there's this cool little rhythm at the end. So you may want to kind of follow that rhythm kind of down up, 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 up. as kind of an E idea at the end. A minor, E, down up, 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 up. Might be kind of a cool way to accent it. So through that whole intro part, you could use kind of that the bass note, or bass down up, up, down up. Kind of A minor. So actually, if we try it with the 16th idea, the weird part is where we got the A minor E half and kind of like our, our chords in the intro, or our other intro. So we have our A minor. G major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. And if you show all those together, it sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. And you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your G major. And your bass note for that chord would be on the low E string, actually. And then from the G, we'd be going to a C major. And normally you do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the A third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and sounds really happy. Now around C's in general, you may want to think about lifting off the first finger, making that a C major 7. Or you can add in the pinky on the B third for C major 9, if you want to say some things. Or another way to play C major 9, we'll be doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major 9. So you may want to kind of alternate between those. And you can those strummings we were talking about, kind of G, kind of eight down count works on each of those chords, or the down, down, up, up, down, up, or you can even add in our bass, you know, bass note for the C's on the A string, so we have low E bass, C, so you may kind of dig on that for the tag again, or what can also be kind of cool, especially through this section, is trying to kind of follow a little piece of the lick, and then adding in the strum pattern down. Take it and slide it down. 
And then we get to our main verse chorus, actually, that goes through the, the rest of the tune. And this is a little weird. It's actually, uh, to match the recording, we'll end up cabling first fret on this section. Um, but it starts off around these really, really cool licks, and it's really about this one bass line where you play third fret on the A, second fret on the low E, two on the A, and then open E. So we're doing the C note, F sharp note, B note, and then open E note. And you hear this cool little lick in the background through that part too, where you can do second on the G string twice, first fret on the B twice, fourth fret on the D twice, second fret on the G twice, open G, open B, and then second on the D, G. So if you want to kind of follow those notes, kind of two, two, one, one, four, four, two, two, oh, 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 two, two, oh, oh. Or you can even kind of try and put those together. And this is a little weird and kind of challenging, but you can do this hybrid picking where you use your pick for your bass and your fingers for the other note of the lick. It might be kind of cool too. And you may want to try that just finger style, kind of the three and the two at the same time. You can start. When you get to the four on the D, you do second on the low E. And then when you get to the open G, you got second on the A at the same time. And then second on the D with the open E, low E. So we kind of dig on that. Three, two, two, one, one, two, four, four, two, 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 and open, 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 O oh, and two, two. Now the chords that would back that up though would start on the C major chord. And this is weird actually. I think you really could kind of generalize this section actually into just a C major and then an E minor. If you want a really easy way out, you could think C, two, three, four, five, uh, da, 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 E minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So kind of doing an eight down count on the C and the E minor would be a really easy way out. Or you could do the down, down, up, up, down, up, or even the bass down. Fast enough, you may be able to get the 16 from there. It's really cool to get that tempo. Now, if you wanted to, too, another way to kind of work it is thinking about it like the bass notes around that, that C chord and the E minor chord. So you could do the A bass, third, down up, and the low E second, leaving the first finger on the B string because that's easy. And then you go to second on the A, and then you can even think about that as the E minor and then the open E. Bass down up. That is kind of an idea. C down up, two on the low E. E minor with a two on the A. E minor. C. C slash F sharp. This is what we call that. C major with F sharp in the bass. And then E minor slash B. A E minor. Kind of an idea. C, F sharp. Interesting. Like, man, I gotta have a chord for those notes, you know, or that F sharp note. There's definitely a chord change there, and there is. Um, then you could kind of follow a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really happy. Now, on D's in general, you may want to lift off the second finger, kind of make that a D suspended second. Get adding the pinky on the high E third for the suspended chord, or what it almost kind of sounds like because we got that F sharp in the bass, something called the D slash F sharp. You got a D major chord, but you could even take your thumb and kind of cover that low E second fret. Or another option would be using something called D sus slash F sharp, where you do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for the D slash F sharp. And then for the B note, actually, I think they really are kind of thinking E minor, but with a B in the bass. But you may start here in that, like a B minor. And there's a couple ways you could kind of get the B minor in there. You could do kind of bar on the second fret, second finger on the B third, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord that sounds really sad. Now you may also dig on lifting off the pinky, making it a B minor seven, or another way to play B minor seven. Is to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second, and kind of working the A string to the high E. Or you, because this change is so quick too, you may dig on first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, that's a B minor. 
And that way you can almost kind of keep that three and four down, actually, kind of that C to the D sus to the E minor, or the B minor to the E minor. You can almost get a bass down, down up in there before that chord changes to I think that's really challenging. And there's some stop times actually through the tune too, where you may want to just do C for kind of two hits, D for two hits, E minor for four. C for two, D slash F sharp, E minor, two, three, four, where the E minor definitely kind of gets carried through, the B minor gets thrown away. Now the weird part about that whole section though is instead of starting on a C major chord, it starts on a D flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do on that section is kind of take the capo and put it on first fret. And now your C is really a D flat major chord, and your D slash F sharp is really a E flat slash G. And your B minor would really be C minor, and your E minor would really be an F minor. But you could just use just those licks through that whole part, actually, kind of that 2 2 one one four four two two oh oh oh. that idea or just the bass note three two two open or you can try putting those together which can be really cool or you can just use the chords and have a C D B minor E minor C D D B minor E minor or if you want that easy way out you can just generalize it or C, D, da, 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 E minor, da, 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 da. Or you can do the down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of doing that idea. Or kind of doing the bass, down, up, up, down, up, using that idea. For the D slash F sharp, actually, well, yeah, you'd just be following those bass lines that we kind of talked about. So we want to use that. Or if you're quick enough, you can kind of get that, that 16th idea. <laughs> so you have C down to B slash F sharp, D minor, D e minor, C, D slash F sharp, e, B minor, D e minor. That's the basics of how you can strum through and kind of work a lot of the licks to foreign by Trey Song. So, good luck!